So 90% of the shrimp that we eat comes from uh, these overcrowded ponds in Asia. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they're treated with antibiotics. They're extremely unhealthy for you. In fact, go back and search for our video on that. We go into great detail on it. Well, uh, some of those ponds are located in Thailand. And in Thailand, these companies, uh, including uh, Fedhana Seafood, have hired employees uh, to farm the fish, work in the shrimp factory. And uh, right now, those factory workers are protesting because of the horrible conditions they're working in. In fact, some of them are uh, having their passports taken away from them because the people who own these factories uh, want to prevent them from leaving. Okay, so for instance, there's a 20-year-old employee who says that he found he had to work 26 days a month. He got his salary every two weeks, but half was withheld to ensure he did not run away. Most of the workers wanted to go home, but we will be in debt from preparing to travel and an unknown amount we are told to pay to get passports and transportation. All right, uh, Anna is on a mission to make sure I don't eat shrimp anymore. Okay, that's what's you happening. Shouldn't, you shouldn't eat shrimp. 90% okay. right. of the shrimp we eat comes from these ponds. But they're so bad for you, I Jake. know. Okay. First of all, the ponds are, are full of crap. Like, they literally. Literal, they're literally, literally full literally. of crap. Okay. <laughs> now, it's shrimp crap, so how big uh, could it be? Right? It's tiny little shrimp crap. Come on. It's... Anyway. Uh, and then, now you tell me that they're basically made out of... Uh, like, if that weren't bad enough, it, that they're using slave labor. Yes, they're okay. using slave labor. And, and understand this. Uh, the minute you hear someone's passport has been taken away, uh, workers, that means it's slave labor. You're not free to leave. The reason they take the passport is because uh, that means you're literally held there uh, against your will. If you had your passport, you could leave. You could say, hey, you know what? I don't want to mine your shrimp crap anymore at substance uh, wages, so I can't even send money back to my family, right? And so th that's why they capture you. Now, unfortunately, like everybody looks at Dubai, like, oh, look at Dubai, look at how beautiful it looks, and they built a ski mountain in the middle of the desert, which, by the way, is a horrible waste and makes me want to uh, hope that the country goes bankrupt. But they built that whole thing on slave labor, right outside the cities. Mm -hmm. They've got all these guys from Pakistan, Indonesia, et cetera, uh, Philippines, and they take their passports away. So then they can't leave. That's slave labor, and I won't go to Dubai uh, because of that. Okay, and, uh, and so now, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it, Anna. I don't know which of my shrimp comes from there. All of it does. Okay, fantastic. No, because look, here, so there goes shrimp. Here's when you know that your shrimp uh, came from a horrible, horrible place, right? Or it was farmed in horrible conditions. Uh, when it costs like $1.99 for a shrimp taco. Uh -huh. When you eat shrimp that was caught in the wild, right, it, it'll cost you like, I remember I went to the supermarket and I did a price comparison, right? So the farm shrimp was, I don't know, $5 for a massive bag, like frozen bag. Uh -huh. Then I asked for wild shrimp, bag of frozen wild shrimp was $20. Jeez, I'm Lord mercy. Yeah. So it's all about producing food and selling it as cheap as possible. All right, I have my answer. Mm -hmm. So now, before uh, I made the decision that I'm only going to buy cage-free chicken, uh, eggs, right? Mm -hmm. Big deal, whoop de doo But hey, I'm trying, right? That's the only thing I know. And they're, probably half of them are lying about that. But I'm doing the best I can. It costs me more, what am I gonna do? Great, now I gotta add, go around asking for wild shrimp. Yep. Which is gonna make people go like, <laughs> like they're making look at you. I mean, it was bad enough asking for dolphin-free tuna, mm -hmm. right? That was that dorky was really enough. difficult, yeah. No, but that's dorky enough. Can I have some dolphin-free tuna? Now I gotta go around, can I get some wild shrimp? <laughs> But I guess that's what us libs got to do because, oh, we don't want slave labor and poop-filled shrimp. Yeah. By the way, the shrimp factory uh, in Thailand is the largest shrimp supplier to Walmart, which is another reason why it's in the news today. By the way, and also, Walmart, just this past weekend, did this whole presentation about sustainability and how they're so supportive of it. I don't know if this is so sustainable. Well, it's sustainable for their bottom line. It definitely So, yeah, with Walmart, I think people have a good sense that those prices are a little low for many different reasons. Yeah. Like if you're not, if you think you're getting the absolute top of the line at those prices, well, they're probably gonna be able to sell you on a lot of stuff.